For more than 40 years, Josie's Market Theatre has mounted some of South Africa's most thought-provoking stage productions, with many of them exploring the comedy, drama and tragedy of everyday life in our country. A play titled The Marsh on Hope Street is currently being staged, and Korea had a preview. Theatre is my favourite representation of the arts, and it's the perfect way to portray events that happen in South Africa. And it's only fitting that today's play means drama. To Marsha on Hope Street, and they're in the middle of rehearsals. Let's go check it out. Award-winning works have established Rajesh Gopi as a major South African playwright, and his latest play continues his investigation of South African stories and situations with universal relevance. Gopala Davies is the director and it's clear that he and his actors are inspired by the text that they are bringing to life. What pulled you towards doing this play? I think Rajesh in general, in all of his work, he's not afraid to address the harshness of reality. He touches on themes of uh, xenophobia, prostitution, the female body as object, as commodity. If you look at the context of the play, it's very misogynistic. It's one female in this environment that's filled with men who abuse their power. But as a text in totality, it becomes very feministic because it's actually telling the story. The role of Payal is played by Amira Patel, who recently won a Naledi Theatre Award in the Best Supporting Actress category. Amira, what really attracted you to this role? It was challenging in a new way, as an emotional kind of pulling apart of the emotions and playing a very sort of raw street kind of feeling and then also having this incredible vulnerability. What is so special about this play? I think it's that idea that hope exists somewhere even though you might not be able to see it or you don't think it's going to come from that place. Lindani Nkosi plays Albert, a Zimbabwean fleeing from xenophobic violence. Why is it so important that we have plays that kind of portray not only what's going on in South Africa at the moment, but also what happened in the past? Reflecting on history, I think, is, is always good, and however bad the history could be, for informing our youth and also for us to just remember. We need to be tolerant with one another. With an intensely human story being told on an intimate stage, lighting plays an essential role in the production. The lighting design is quite complex for a very simple set. We've got more than 150 cues in a show that is 90 minutes long. A lot of it has AV in it and the AV is mapped to the environment. So it's quite a dynamic show in terms of lighting. Sound that I'm doing for Tamasha requires sound effects being put together and making sure the levels are sitting where they need to sit. It's a small theatre, we're not using dialogue recording. We also have a music uh, guy that's in charge with his music to play for the mood and the scenes. For the atmosphere in this show, I used combinations of recorded sound design placed on tracks to create a psychedelic atmosphere. And I also add atmosphere and ambience live with my instrument, which is the guitar primarily, and the combination of electronic effects. Since its inception in the turbulent 70s, the Mark of Theatre Foundation has become synonymous with artistic excellence and social awareness. And CEO Ismail Mohammed sees Rajesh Gopi's latest work as a continuance of this tradition. Ishmael Mohammed, why is it so important that the Market Theatre gets involved with plays specifically highlighting South Africa's history? The Market Theatre 41 years ago opened as a completely non-racial theatre in terms of its audiences but also in terms of what was being presented on stage and we believe that that's a legacy that we need to continue to celebrate and build on and one that we need to hand over to the next generation of South Africans. Set in Chatsworth, the Marsha on Hope Street tells the story of a young street prostitute named Pyle, who meets Albert, a Zimbabwean who is trying to make a living as a night watchman. How much money you got in your pocket, Bululu man? Sorry? Wanna go behind this wall? Excuse me? Only 50 bucks. I am not interested in you. How much? Depends what you want. 100 rand for full house. No, man. Girls on the road are cheaper. Okay, 80. Okay. What are you looking at? It's my house. I bought that house. That's not the way she was brought up. Jaymati must be turning in the green. In this old age, I must go from pillar to post.
sir, how does the story of Ram end? Is everything okay, my boy? I need to know how it ended, sir. Badly, like all other great stories. A war followed, many deaths, heartache. And then, there was light when it was all over. And my husband and I will face each other as man and wife. Then? Then? Then we had no kissing, just like the movies. <laughs> Alia. This song was taught to me by a very special person. Elsa. He was my light on a dark street. Kanisa. I dedicate this song to him. My hope Elsa. during that Tamasha on Hope Street. Kanisa. Don't miss this simply told yet heart-wrenchingly authentic South African story, which is on at the Market Theatre until the 1st of October.